Hey there, this is Ilze B. I am a Latvian and I teach Latvian to English speakers. Welcome to day 5 of my Latvian challenge for words a day. Yesterday you learned a sentence Es situ ritmu ar abām rokām. Today I will teach you a similar sentence, a longer one. The first part of this sentence will be Es situ ritmu ar vienu roku. I think you can guess its meaning already. I'll repeat it. Es situ ritmu ar vienu roku. And the second part of this sentence will be Uz šīs metāla bļodas. I will repeat it and I think that you can guess the meaning of the second part as well. So the second part was Uz šīs metāla bļodas. So what am I doing? Es situ ritmu ar vienu roku uz šīs metāla bļodas. It's quite easy, right? Often you can learn a language guessing from the context, from everything that you see around, from people's body language, and this is a great way to do it. It's actually the right way to do it. But let's get back to our sentence. I will teach you the words that differ from yesterday. And there is one word that is new for you, and there is one word that has a change in it. That word is ruaku. Yesterday you had the same word with a different ending, and that ending was ruakam. You already know three endings for this word. The default ending a, ruaka, then the plural ending as, ruakas, and yesterday you learned the word with the ending am, ruakam. Today I will teach another form of this word. I repeat that word is ruaku. I'll repeat it again. Ruaku, vienu ruaku, ar vienu ruaku, esi tu ritmu ar vienu ruaku. No, yes, no, yes, no, no, yes, no, yes, no. Esi tu ritmu ar vienu ruaku. So now I will teach you the word that precedes the word ruaku. And that word is vienu, vienu, vienu. In this word, there is a diphthong that usually causes difficulties to English speakers. Listen again. That diphthong is in the first syllable of the word. Vienu, vienu, vienu. Please repeat the word after me as you hear it. I am intentionally not showing you the word in its written form. I will say this word twice, then I will pause after each time, waiting for you to repeat it after me. Vienu. Vienu. And now you'll see how it's written. Vienu. Vienu. But please don't try to read it the way you would read it in English. In Latvian we read vowels and diphthongs differently. If you would like to learn more, learn thoroughly, I have a course that is called Sounds and Writing. That course is good not just for the beginners, but also for people who know some Latvian but who do not know how to write in Latvian. I'm explaining quite a lot there. For instance, how words are built and how sometimes the prefixes and suffixes confuse people so that they don't know how to spell a word. I will teach some basic things that will make you see the things clearer. 
But now let's get back to learning the sentence. I will repeat the first part of the sentence again. Esi tu ritmu ar vienu roku. Let's try to pronounce it. I'll have it on the screen. I don't think it will cause much difficulties because yesterday you learned a very similar sentence. I'll read it once and then I want you to read it twice together with me. Esi tu ritmu ar vienu roku. Let's do it together. Esi tu ritmu ar vienu roku. And one more time. Esi tu ritmu ar vienu roku. And now the second part of the sentence. And that second part sounded like this. Uz šīs metāla bļodas. Uz šīs metāla bļodas. The rhythm is like this. Uz šīs metāla bļodas. There are two yeses, one after another. So the rhythm is no yes. Yes, no, no, yes, no. No, yes, yes, no, no, yes, no. No, yes, yes, no, no, yes, no. Let's say it together twice. No, yes, yes, no, no, yes, no. No, yes, yes, no, no, yes, no. And the last word is Bluedas. Bluedas. There is that difficult vowel, or actually it is called a diphthong in Latvian. It is ua. I already taught you that. But there is another consonant that might seem difficult for you. Listen to the word again and try to repeat it after me, just from listening. Try to imitate how I speak. That's how children learn. Blue dust. Blue dust. The word that precedes the word blue dust is a word the meaning of which you will guess. I'm sure of it. And that word is metal. Metal. That word doesn't have the Latin origin. It is a borrowed word in the Latvian language, metala bluedas. And of course you can guess the meaning even easier because you see what I am holding. Metala bluedas. And when I say ushis metala bluedas, maybe you can even guess the meaning of this whole phrase because you know the word uz. I taught you a sentence, es protu stāvēt uz galvas. And we had the word uz in that sentence. Uz galvas means on head. And what am I doing? I am beating rhythm that you know from the first part of the sentence. On, and then you can see what I am holding in my hands. Metāla bļodas. Uz šīs metāla bļodas. You need to guess the meaning of the word she's. She's is a small word that stands before the word metal. In fact, it sounds a bit similar to the word in English. She's. Try to guess it. I think you already guessed the second part of the sentence, which means on this metal bowl. Uz she's. Metala bluedas. And that is the second part of the sentence. The rhythm was once again no yes, yes no no, yes no. Uz šīs metala bluedas. Uz šīs metala bluedas. You see the sentence or the second part of the sentence on your screens, and I'd like you to try to read together with me. Let's read it three times. Uz šīs metāla bļodas. Uz šīs metāla bļodas. 
uz šīs metāla bļodas. And the first part of the sentence was esi tu ritmu ar vienu roku. So the sentence all together is esi tu ritmu ar vienu roku uz šīs metāla bļodas. Let's read it again. Esi tu ritmu ar vienu roku uz šīs metāla bļodas. And that's the sentence for today. But I'm not ending this lesson. I will have slides after this and you will hear me explaining a little more about the words. I'm not going to dive very deep, but I think that there are things that you want to know. So I'm saying bye for now and see you tomorrow. And here are the new words that I taught to you today. On the left side you see the form in the sentence of the word and on the right side it's default form. The first word is ar and that word had already its default form. The second word is vienu and its default form is viens. The third word is metāla and its default form is metāls. And finally, the fourth word is bļodas and its default form is bļoda. But I would like to talk about one word a little more and that word is metāla. Whenever that word stands in front of another noun, specifying and describing what kind of an object it is, this is the form that the word will have. And if you took a dictionary and looked up another word, which is a material, and that word had the same ending, namely the ending s in its default form, then that word would also change its ending to a when it acts as a descriptor of an object. For instance, look up the word clay. It also has an ending s in its default form. So if you wanted to say this is clay, then the word would have the ending s. But if you wanted to say a clay bowl, then the word would have an ending a. But there's something else that I wanted to tell you. I will give you a couple of ideas how you can build sentences using words and structures we have studied so far. So here's the example one. We had a sentence, man ir divas rokas, which meant I have two arms or it can also mean I have two hands. I have a suggestion how to replace one of the words in this sentence and that word is Rokas. If you paid attention, you remembered that its default ending is a, and the same ending is for the word bļoda. So we can safely replace the word rokas with the word bļodas, because in each situation those words will have the same endings, since their default endings are the same. We can also add a descriptor, the word metāla, and our new sentence would be Man ir divas metāla bļodas. And I have another example. We had a sentence, es protu stāvēt uz galvas. Its meaning was I can stand on head or I can stand on my head. We can replace this combination of words in this sentence. But I have underlined the word stāvēt because it is an action word or a verb in its default form. So we need to make sure that the replacement phrase also starts with an action verb or an action word in its default form. So another verb that we learned was situ. In the sentence, es situ ritmu ar abām rokām. So once again, situ is an action verb, but it is not in its default form. We need to know its default form. Its default form is sist. So the new sentence that we want to build 
would translate in English as this. I can beat rhythm on a ball. And in Latvian it would look like this. Es protu sist ritmu uz bļodas. You will have all this information in my PDF file, so make sure that you download it by clicking the link that I am giving to you in the description of this video. So now this is indeed the end of the day 5 of this challenge for Latvian words a day. And I hope to see you tomorrow. Keep up the good work. Bye.